Then, the elder Subhuti in the assembly arose from his seat, bared his right shoulder, knelt on his right knee with his palms joined, and respectfully addressed the Buddha. How remarkable, world-honored one, that the Tathagata is ever mindful of bodhisattvas, protecting and instructing them well. World-honored one, when good men and good women resolve to attain unsurpassed complete enlightenment, how should they abide their mind? And how should they subdue their thoughts? The Buddha said, Excellent. Excellent. Sabudi. It is as you have said. The Tathagata is ever mindful of bodhisattvas, protecting and instructing them well. Now listen attentively, and I shall explain it for you. Good men and good women who resolve to attain unsurpassed complete enlightenment should thus abide and subdue their thoughts. The Venerable Subhuti said, Yes, world honored one. We are listening with great anticipation. Then, the elder Subhuti in the assembly arose from his seat, bared his right shoulder, knelt on his right knee with his palms joined, and respectfully addressed the Buddha. How remarkable, world-honored one, that the Tathagata is ever mindful of bodhisattvas, protecting and instructing them well. World-honored one, when good men and good women resolve to attain unsurpassed complete enlightenment, how should they abide their mind? And how should they subdue their thoughts? The Buddha said, Excellent. Excellent. Sabudi. it is as you have said. The Tathagata is ever mindful of bodhisattvas, protecting and instructing them well. Now listen attentively, and I shall explain it for you. Good men and good women who resolve to attain unsurpassed complete enlightenment should thus abide and subdue their thoughts. The Venerable Subhuti said, Yes. World Honored One, we are listening with great anticipation.